guys, welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to show you this all around drama makeup tutorial. I don't know where the inspiration came from but I think it's because I just bought this palette from Too Faced, the chocolate bar and it was this purple shade that I absolutely love. So I figured I will put it on a makeup look and then the lip color just... I don't know, I decided to do something bright for some reason, I guess because it's spring and summer. So if you want to learn how I created this look, please keep on watching. So the first thing that I did was I applied my Lemon Aid eyeshadow primer from Benefit. And then I'm grabbing my Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette and I'm using the shadow Milk Chocolate on my crease. And it's this color right here and I'm going to start off by using my 224 brush by MAC and I'm going to apply it right on my crease doing one shot wiper motion going back and forth back and forth with the color and as you guys can see you really want to be gentle with the brush um it looks like i'm going hard probably but i'm not i'm using actually like the really tip of the brush without pushing it too hard onto the eye because that's not going to help you blend what's going to help you blend is you being gentle and i'm using actually the tip of the brush here i'm using the 221 brush by um I'm sorry, this is the 221, yeah, 221 brush by MAC, and I am just concentrating the color on the crease, and really just creating some depth on my crease. So when you want to create depth, you want to use the smaller brushes, when you want to blend, you want to create more, you want to use more of a fluffy brush, so that's why I switch brushes, that's why it's so important to switch brushes. Then I'm using these color eyeshadow by Jouer Cosmetics, this is a purple tone, this is in the shade Renaissance and I'm going to apply it all over my lid as a base to help me grab the purple shade that I will be applying next. So then once I apply it all over my lid, what I'm going to do is also apply it a little bit underneath uh, the lower lash line uh, to just make sure that it gives me, you know, that all around eye base for the eye and also the... Uh, purple eyeshadow just pick up the pigment and looks more pur purple on the eye then I'm gonna blend it out with this brush this came in a palette I believe the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette the shadow couture palette but it's just like a regular blending brush this is the one that I had in my hand when I was filming so yeah it doesn't you can use a pencil brush you can use a flat brush for this step just make sure you blend the eyeshadow even the finger you can just blend it around all over the eye and then once you do that you want to go ahead and grab this amazing beautiful purple shade it is my favorite color actually purple so that's why i gravitate to that shadow for the first time once i bought the palette so this is a, uh, the color candide um candide violet and i'm going to use a flat brush to apply this in the inner corner and outer corner of the eye so we want to just dab doing dabbing motion so we don't do any fallouts and you just want to apply it and then bring the shadow kind of like create um, kind of like make them meet in the, on the crease, but leaving the, the, uh, but leaving the middle of the eye empty because we want to apply like a lighter shade in that area. And we also want to apply some of that shadow on the lower lash line. Then I'm grabbing this, um, dark shade, this, um, more brown shade matte triple fudge and i'm gonna use the 221 brush going back to that brush because it's a smaller so we want to target that area where the two eyeshadows meet where the eye the purple eyeshadow met with the other uh, lighter shade that we applied earlier and then we want to create some depth in that a, a little bit more depth in that area so i'm just applying a little bit more of that darker shade there because we just want to create that faded out effect and then I'm just really blending the edges to just make sure there's no harsh lines and then I'm going back with the big fluffy brush to just make sure everything is well blended and then I'm grabbing this shadow in the color marzipan and I'm using this with I'm applying this actually with my finger because it's easier and it kind of like grabs the pigment a little better and I'm applying this right in the middle of the eye to make my my eye pop once I put the liner so you just want to make sure you just blend the edges with your finger and then once you do that you want to move on to the liner so I'm using the tar Tarteist liner from um, Tarte Cosmetics and I'm using the brush uh, from Tarte as well which is my absolute favorite to do the liner I don't know why uh, probably some people love the inkle brush better but for me this is a lot better it gives me more control of the liner and it doesn't make the eyeliner just thicker once you apply for the first time like you just build it up slowly so um, that's why I really like this brush 
uh, but definitely you can use an angle brush if you have one and then you just want to take your time I'm always like to take my time with the liner for some reason today that day that I filmed this video when I filmed this video it was a good day liner it was one of those days that both liners came really sharp the first time you try without like removing anything or you know cleaning up then I'm using a telescopic mascara from L'Oreal and I'm applying mascara all over my lashes to just make sure that they're ready to put my falsies then i'm using the false lashes audrey by huda beauty lashes and yeah let's move on to the face so then i'm using barsili beauty oil and i'm mixing it putting like two drops into my foundation and i'm using kat von d uh, lacquer foundation which is my absolute favorite if you have oily skin this foundation is amazing balls and i'm gonna tell you why even though I don't have oily skin, I have normal to dry, this foundation looks flawless. And even if I don't apply that beauty oil, it looks amazing. It looks flawless. It doesn't make me dry. It's just amazing. I don't know why. I don't know what it is, but it is amazing. And then I'm applying the, um, the um, concealer in the shade Vanilla from NARS. I don't know why today the filming, like the camera was picking up a lot of the yellow, especially because this foundation really does not match my skin tone. Um, I think it's a little bit, either it's too yellow definitely, but it's also a little bit dark. But as you can see, my neck is more yellow. So I think that's why it was like even it out because I do a lot of self tanning. So um, yeah, with this concealer, once you see what I'm gonna do, it's just gonna really even it out. So this will be like a little tip that I will give you. Uh, when you have a foundation that doesn't match you, you can actually kind of like balance it out with a bright concealer. You know, when you apply the concealer that is a little lighter, you kind of like balance it out and it just makes it a lot better once you finish up and you blend everything out. So you just want to make sure you know, like highlight under the eye, you know, the, the, um, in the middle of the forehead, also a little bit underneath that contour area. And I did that just because... You know, the foundation was just a little bit, a little bit dark. I had to admit it, it was a little bit dark. But I'm trying to balance it out and make it work because this is the only foundation that I have. Not, uh, you know, from Kat Von D and I absolutely love it. That's why I, I put up with it and I make sure that it works. I make it work. And I, obviously I don't like to waste products. So I have it there and yeah, so I'm making it work here. So you just wanna make sure you just blend everything out. And, and you wanna go ahead and grab your powder. I'm using here the Shiseido Translucent Powder and I'm going to just set wherever I highlight it on the face, I'm going to set with this powder. And what I love about it is that basically when I set my foundation or my highlighter, it doesn't change the color of the foundation or the shade that I use to highlight my face. So that's why I love it because I hate a powder that just changes the color because it has color in it. And this one doesn't. That's why I love it so much. Then I'm using here the um, Hula Bronzer by Benefit Cosmetics with a Kabuki brush. And I'm just highlighting and setting at the same time the areas where I basically want to bronze where I want to contour my face and bronze my face. I'm basically bronzing and contouring at the same time. And as you can see, I was having too much fun with that powder and my videographer did not tell me that I had powder all over. I think we finally, the powder and me finally reunited and I had a little bit too much fun putting on my face. So yeah, you just wanna make sure that you basically bronze your skin and contour your face right underneath your cheekbones. Just make sure your, your face looks a little bit slimmer. And then once you do that with the same Kabuki brush, what I did is just basically get rid of all that loose powder. And I don't know why for this video, uh, the lighting was going off and on, off and on, too bright, too normal, then going back to bright, then going back to normal. So I apologize for that. But we're, trying to, we're still trying to figure it out, the lighting. And then I'm going to, um, put te the telescopic mascara by L'Oreal right on my bottom lashes to just make sure it opens up my eyes. You never want to skip um, bottom lash mascara because it does make a difference for your makeup application. And then once you do that, you want to move on to the lips. So I use the Thirsty Lip Liner by by Tarte Cosmetics. You can always do a neutral, you know, a neutral shade. You can do a nude or you can do a pinky tone. It's, it will look amazing with 
any any color um, this was a little bit I guess too bold or it will be too bold for some people but you can always switch up the color I don't know I was just feeling that day for some reason to put a bright shade uh, so yeah but you can always switch it up and I was doing a little bit of contouring and I guess it did work because a lot of people thought that I have like the you know like I guess like plump lips you know like bigger lips but I don't I think I have small lips I mean I'll say normal but I think they're more on the smaller side to be honest with you a lot of lip contouring and also overlining can really help to make your lips a little plumper and then I'm using here the um, Gerard Cosmetics highlighter in the shade Marlin and I'm applying these right um, on my cheekbones to just make sure they pop a little bit more and voila guys this is basically the finished look you want to go ahead and use a setting spray to just make sure that your makeup lasts longer but this is it i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up remember you can always switch up the lip color for a more subtle um for a more subtle look and just have to focus on the eyes and yeah i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you guys on my next video bye